Hi, recently I have started playing Ultimate Custom Night again, you know, just trying to get a good high score and have some fun. However, while I was playing, I thought about the game and how it really compares to the other Five Nights at Freddy's games, and that led me to making this video. It will sort of be a retrospective of Ultimate Custom Night, I will go over the weak aspects of UCN and the strong aspects. At the end, I will give you my personal verdict on the game. I feel like UCN is not talked about a lot. I feel like most people are fine with it, but it's definitely not the most discussed FNAF game. However, if you think about it, this game is very unique, and that's something I also want to talk about. Like and subscribe, and let's start. The first thing I want to talk about is the gameplay, and by that I mean the office gameplay. I'll touch on the framework of the game, which is that it's one gen custom night later on. Ultimate Custom Night has a lot of characters, so I get that not each one of them can be complicated, just some can be. Oh, I appear in the door, or oh, I'm looking up now, shock me, or oh, put on the mask. There is a big variance in difficulty between the characters. I mean, balancing all of these would just be a nightmare. I don't mean this in a negative way, I think that this brings something new and unique to the gameplay of FNAF. Is it better than the older games? Eh, I don't think so. Characters like Toy Freddy and Foxy are much harder than, well, Nightmare and Toy Bonnie. I think that it makes the custom night more interesting. I mean, previous FNAF games didn't have like a giant variance in difficulty between the characters, and I appreciate UCN for trying something new, even if I think how the older games did it is still better. I think that it makes the custom night much more interesting. Like, if they dumbed down the other animatronics so that everything was more balanced, I don't think the strategies for the 50-20 mode would be that interesting. A lot of characters can be cheesed, like for example the van animatronics. Just close the vent before going on the cameras. Or just keep your camera here to stall the plush animatronics, so they cannot kill you. What I am trying to say is that I think that developing strategies and finding the cheeses in order to make the harder difficulties possible was really fun. I think that if you go into the ultimate custom night knowing all of the strategies, you will have a worse experience. Experiencing and figuring out the game for yourself was really fun. The emphasis on some animatronics because they are harder than others makes for a more interesting experience that's different from the older games that were more balanced. And I mean, how would Scott balance 50 animatronics? I mean, Toy Freddy is hated because of this game. UCN is the reason that every time I talk about Toy Freddy, I have something negative to say. The strategies for 50-20 mode are all really interesting. Also, yeah, this game is heavily RNG based, especially in certain 50-20 mode strategies. I think a little too RNG dependent to be honest. Ultimate Custom Night has gameplay that is very different from all the other FNAF games. It creates a really interesting gameplay cycle that makes the player prioritize on what animatronics to deal with first. Creating your own strategies is really fun. I think the experience is better if you're going in blind. I think UCN being different from other FNAF games by having so many characters and having big differences in difficulty between each of them and finding the best strategies to deal with each animatronic made Ultimate Custom Night a really interesting FNAF game that really stands out from the rest. I have good memories of when this game first came out and constantly there were new things, new strategies found and found and found. Although UCN definitely doesn't have the best gameplay, it is something unique and fun. A more high score themed FNAF game. I think that's a good idea and it was executed well. Alright, um, I have to talk about the cutscenes. These are weird, but honestly I think they're pretty funny. I think it's funny that Scott decided to add these anime-like cutscenes to FNAF. And I know this is going a little off track, but wouldn't it be cool if we got stuff like the Fazbear and Friends security breach teasers in stop motion? Just something to make the cutscenes stand out, change up the art style. Like for example, this cutscene in Juniors. I don't mean to say that the cutscenes we have in FNAF are bad, I just think that experimenting a little with the visual style would be interesting. Of course, it wouldn't make sense if the game suddenly shifted art styles, like I think the security breach cutscenes should be in the style they are now, but I mean smaller cutscenes. Like for example, if we ever get something like these UCN cutscenes again. I think that this is a step in the right direction, however it would be fine if it didn't happen again. Man, I feel like I'm rambling. Did anything I just say make sense? Eh, hopefully. I really like that they used like a new art style for the cutscenes, it makes them more memorable. And I'm hoping they are gonna do stuff like this again, maybe with other art styles. I mean so far we have like Pixel, 
normal well animation and these anime styles why not expand a little bit although like i said yeah this this doesn't need to happen it's just a little thing a small tiny thing it's not a big deal so let's move on i have to get one quick negative out of the way and honestly this isn't really the game's fault the engine the game uses is at fault ultimate custom night was poorly optimized upon release I heard reports that the game was laggy for many people. Thankfully, you can now disable visual effects. However, the problems don't stop here. You see, Scott Coffin was really pushing Click Team Fusion to its limit. Because the game has 50 characters, many offices, just many things in general, the game takes up a lot of memory. And unfortunately, Click Team is far from the most powerful game engine. It has a memory limit of 2GB, which meant Scott Coffin did not have a lot to work with. That's why many of the renders are really low quality. Like this jump scare frame is 480 pixels by 270 pixels. This one from Sister Location is 1280 by 720 in comparison. Yep, a lot of the renders have a low resolution. To save memory, I assume. I think that it's impressive that Scott managed to fit so much into this game, considering the limitations, however I must admit that the low res renders are a downside. I can tell when playing the game that the images are low quality. Again, nothing much Scott could have done without changing the game engine, which would just be an absolute nightmare. While it is a negative, I understand why it is like that. Please don't go into the comments to call me dumb because I don't understand that it's like that due to limitations with the game engine. I know, okay? Another thing to touch on, the jump scares, the bread and exotic butters of the FNAF franchise. And yeah, UCN doesn't deliver. I'll admit, UCN has some good and unique jump scares, like for example this Wither Chica one, Freddy, Foxy, Mango. Don't get me wrong, these jump scares definitely aren't perfect, I don't think they're scary. However, I don't think that UCN was trying to be scary, so I'll let it slide. UCN has jump scares like Withered Bunny. Puppet, Music Man, Nightmare Mango, basically just PNGs that move a little bit, and also an absurd amount of screen shake. I understand why it's like this, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. I understand that making jump scares for 50 characters is a lot, but I still don't like these jump scares, the horror. UCN is still a horror game. However, I'd argue that it's not that scary. I don't think it creates a creepy atmosphere, and I don't think that it's that tense. Every time I get jump scared, I'm like, okay. However, I can see that the horror clearly wasn't the focus of the game. This game tried to just be a good FNAF office game, with good FNAF gameplay. When you have to make 50 characters for your game, I feel like sacrificing the horror is alright. I mean, this game didn't try to be scary, honestly, so I don't think that it's a negative to say that it isn't. It's just something I wanted to point out. Ultimate Custom Night is very different from the other FNAF games. Rather than having a night system where each night gets harder and harder, and maybe even new mechanics are being added in between the nights, Ultimate Custom Night lets you pick and choose which animatronics to fight against from the start. There are challenges, but they are not required. You can read about each animatronic and get to know how to beat them. This is really unique, and I mean, it is the ultimate custom night, so it makes sense that you are able to customize it from the beginning. I prefer how the original FNAF games did it, with each night getting harder and harder, also while only giving the player hints on how the animatronics work, and never fully explaining the mechanic. I prefer it like that, but I think that UCN is a nice change of pace. It also wouldn't make sense for it to have a night system, because honestly if there's 50 animatronics, yeah I think picking them yourself and being able to read the descriptions one by one before adding a new animatronic rather than all at once like it would have been in the night system, because it would just add a bunch of new animatronics all at once, it would not be fun. Plus, practicing one single animatronic that is giving you trouble would not be possible if there was a night system. And yeah, I get why it's a custom night, it's supposed to be like that, I'm just saying that I like that it's different. I mean, that's literally the point of the game, it's one giant custom night, it's supposed to be different, and I really like it because of that. I do think that this being a giant custom night and the player having to learn how to beat it little by little is a really good formula that leads to a fun gameplay loop of the player slowly getting better and better, being able to defend from more and more enemies, 
However, I think that this is fun as a one-off. I wouldn't really want a UCN2. This game innovated in like the traditional FNAF gameplay. It helps the game stand out. And I mean, it being a big custom night is the point of the game. It's a good formula to change things up. However, I don't think it should be done again. I would talk a little about the lore, but trust me, I'm nowhere near knowledgeable enough about the lore. Leave it to game theory or something. Oh wait. Alright, in summary, Ultimate Custom Night is very unique. It brings a lot of new stuff to the table. It is a whole new spin on the FNAF gameplay formula. It's one giant custom night and I appreciate it for trying something new and making it work. Even if I think it shouldn't be done again. It was fun as a one-off. UCN is challenging and I feel like it's really strategy focused. Although the optimization of the game is questionable and the low quality renders are a negative, I think the gameplay of UCN is good. However, another negative I have is that the game sort of loses its magic if you already know the best strategies. I definitely recommend not researching the mechanics of the game before playing it, because I believe that you will have the best experience if you go in blind. So yeah, I do think that UCN is good. It's unique, I don't think it's everyone's cup of tea. If you don't like it, I get it, but I really enjoyed it. Even though it's flawed, I like it. I have no real problems with the gameplay other than it being like a little too RNG based. But other than that, I think it's fine. Even if you can cheese a lot of the animatronics. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. This was Game Speaking, and goodbye.